Well, good morning, Fellowship, and happy 40th anniversary, Fellowship Bible Church, Northwest Arkansas. Pam and I are incredibly excited about this morning and celebrate, celebrating what God's been doing in and through this church for the last 40 years. And we look forward to His continued blessing in this place. When it comes to planning a church and being a part of something you think could be a movement, what would it look like to go the distance for the long haul with a group of leaders for the glory of God and the good of others? When I think back of the early church in Acts and how that was really what we were trying to model, it wasn't just a, a section of our lives, it became our whole life. People there didn't just go to church, it was involvement and it was servant leadership. It was just wow moments, how God was moving in this incredible way. When there was one fellowship, I was amazed that this stemmed from seven families. Now, what God has done in this place, wow. I get a phone call from Robert Cup, and Robert said, is there any chance that you and Ann could meet Carolyn and me for dinner, we want to talk to you about something. So we agreed to meet at a Chinese restaurant in Springdale, Arkansas, Halloween, October 31st, 1983. He and Carolyn look like they're going to be moving to North Little Rock to help start a fellowship church. And then Robert gets out his faithful napkin and he starts writing names on there. And we came up with, besides the two of us, five couples that we thought would be interested in being a part of this movement called fellowship. We would have community group at our house. Uh, my daughter, Corey, who's now 50, her bedroom was the learning center. Erin being a teenager, she would help take the children baptizing in the swimming pool at the house in Centerton. We just got a hold of this rumor that was going around that Robert uh, and Carolyn wanted to start this new, unique, and different type of a church. We bought in early on uh, what Robert was telling us. Everybody had to pitch in and do something. In the early days, it was just a, a great atmosphere every Sunday. One of the biggest goals for us was we'd always leave an empty chair just like in community group. An empty chair and invite somebody. Being with fellowship, everything was revolved, not purposely growing, but being available for people to come and visit. You know, I played in the band for years and years, almost eight years on the road. Uh, and did a lot of audio work and stuff like that. So when I came to Fellowship, Mickey and I worked through and bought a sound system and I ran it every week. For years and years and years, I was here every single Sunday about six in the morning uh, running front of house audio. That was a very, very special time actually because all the volunteers, um, we had to have everything either in a storage building or a trailer. Well, everything had to be taken out and set up for the Sunday morning. So when we came in, there was just one service at Oakdale. And then the next year, it was a big deal to go to two services. But that's where Worship One, Serve One really started. People did it, and people kept coming. And it was, it was pretty amazing. Once you start doing serving, then it's almost like a, a drug. It, it's, it's, you're gonna, you're gonna want to do it again and again. Uh, I have an overwhelming feeling about I, I really need to give back. Over my lifetime, I've visited many churches before. When I came here to fellowship, there was a warmth and a welcome that I enjoy. And there was an opportunity where I could see to serve. And I saw that in, in my meetings in community groups, and I saw that in the worship services. I knew that in my spirit and in my heart that this was a special place. We've been in several community groups. We've led community groups. The relationships that we've built through fellowship that go back years and years and years, they really define us. We came, sat stage left, third, third, fourth row back, pretty much where we sit today, and something happened there. Now, I wasn't sure what happened, and soon enough, I'm sitting in the row crying. I, I get it. I, I like to tell people, I says, I met Christ at Fellowship. When you see God at work changing people's lives, there's nothing more exciting than that. There are times even now that I'll find myself wiping tears as I see all the young people coming in with their children 
and all and see what God is doing in families here. And it's just like, wow, God, thank you that you would allow me, that you would allow my family to be a part of this. Greetings, Fellowship Bible Church. Congratulations on your 40th anniversary. Congratulations, Fellowship, on 40 years of effective ministry. In all my years of travel and ministry, I'm not sure I've ever seen a more healthy or well-balanced church like Fellowship. May God bless your ministry to an even greater extent in the days ahead. Know that you're loved by many, especially by me and the team here at DTS. Happy 40th anniversary, Fellowship. Hey there, Fellowship Bible Church, Northwest Arkansas. Congratulations on 40 years. It's a testimony to the grace of God, and everybody at Dallas Theological Seminary is rejoicing. We love you. Congrats.